y'all y'all cannot tell where my real hair starts and the wig starts when i tell you we're going into 2021 well i guess black history month we're going into black history month with yakky textured hair period look at this you cannot tell which is which okay y'all let me put y'all on let me put y'all on let me put y'all Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yana, Ayana, whatever you want to call me. And today's video is going to be on this half wig. Yes, this is a half wig. This is the Annie half wig, but I turned this into a U-part wig. So now this is a Ultra Annie U-part wig, okay? The way I did it is I just got the U-part wig, got the half wig, and the half wig basically comes like this, like... I don't know how to describe it, but it's basically just like this. And all I did is I found the middle of the thing and I just cut it, cut a line straight back. I want to say about this much, like a few, a few centimeters of hair. I mean, yeah, a few centimeters of the wig and it ended up forming a U. So when you cut this, don't cut it into a U shape. Just cut a straight line and it'll form into a U. I'm also going to leave a tutorial down below of the tutorial that I follow on how I got mine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk about this wig later in the video. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And keep on watching. So this is the Annie Altre Half Wig. I got this on Amazon for $35. I know on Sam's Beauty and Wig Types it's like $15. But their shipping is very expensive so it adds up to be the same exact price on Amazon anyways. So I got this in the color 1B. Now this wig did come as a half wig. If you know a half wig is basically like this. And you have your whole entire front of your hair out. But I am a U-part girl. I love U-parts. U-parts are everything. So what I did was I cut this half wig. The half wig was basically like this. So where the U is, I will have my leave out at and it will blend seamlessly so i have the half wig right here and i'm gonna slap this on i have my wand curler set at 4 30 because this hair is heat resistant you can put heat to this hair okay so this is how the wig looks fresh out the package this is how it will look once you blend it into your hair this is my hair and this is the half wig it is a 1b this is the length for me and yeah this is before styling and everything don't mind this hump I think I may have to either bobby pin this down more or make the U part a little bit more like deeper we're going to wand curl the hair. Um, I am getting some shedding. It's nothing crazy, but remember I did literally cut this wig straight down the middle. So there is some sort of shedding from that. It's basically like when you cut your wefts, like with your weaves, you know? But y'all, I wanted a yakky textured U part wig because I knew that I wouldn't have to worry about my natural hair blending in it, even when it's like blown out or straight, because it's the same texture as my hair. But this is before styling once again. Yeah, let's go on and wand curl this wig. Okay, y'all, this is the first, I guess you could say, curl.
So tonight you should go and take a chance where she could be everything you Okay, y'all, so sorry for the glasses change, but um, this is how it is looking. So it's honestly like a beach wave type of lawn curl. Um, as you can see, I feel like some parts curl better than others, and I feel like that is because um, I'm doing it in smaller sections and I feel like for this hair you have to do it in super 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 tiny sections because of the hair being so thick which is annoying but this curl these curls in the front that I did super 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 small compared to these in the back which I miss this one but compared to like this curl right here which honestly isn't that bad let me find a different one. This one. This curl, I did this curl. Like, I literally did, got this whole entire club and curled it. So, I definitely think that you need small sections for you to get the best curls. Um, I'm not going to lie. The curls are very pretty. Like, I'm not hating on the curls. It looks very, very, very natural. But yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a hang of this. I'm being patient. Patience is key. And yeah, I'm gonna do this other side, and I'm going to come back. I'm gonna do a side by side comparison, and then I'm going to finish. I'm gonna just cool this curl off, and. This is, oh, don't mind this, I forgot. This is where the big curls. <laughs> These are the small curls, so much better. But this is one side. And this is the curl side. So I'm gonna do this curl, do it down here over again, and get the side, and I'm going to be back with the completed hairstyle. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. this is the final look. You cannot tell me that I did not grow my hair like Rapunzel. Like, you can't tell me that I did not grow my hair. Like, look at this, first of all. Don't mind the hump, but even if, like, this was my natural hair, my hair would be super, um, like, it would be super vol voluminous at the top because my hair is obviously thick. But y'all, yeah. Look at these curls. Now you can tell that some curls I took more time on and some curls I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, I'm not going anywhere. I just wanted to try this out. So if you could only imagine if I was actually going out and doing something and wanted to curl my hair, like I would've took my time. I kinda rushed, kinda took my time, but mostly rushed. So I feel like if you really go slow, you know, wrap it really, really tightly, hold it there for a good minute, let it go, cool it off, and then drop it, your curls are gonna be popping, okay? I wouldn't know if I would get any tangling in this hair only because I would not run my fingers through hair like this because like it's just impractical. It's like running your hair through connect line hair, like you don't wanna do that. But just from doing this, here's a little, little tangle right here. But other than that, a little tangle right here, but these are from curls. Like, 
I'm trying to brush through these curls. Like, look at this. And you can tell that it's super, like, it's not going to drop anytime soon. But, yes, this is the final look. I hope it helps. Get your old half wig, buy a little half wig synthetica wig, something super cheap. Cut it into a U-part wig, and girl, you got a whole sewing. Okay, you got a whole sewing. Now, I, I will be doing a update video on this, so just like I did for my headband update wig. Um, probably, I want to say, because it's synthetic, I want to say probably like in two, three weeks. So stay tuned for that. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you try this, let me know. Let me let people in the comments know where a good place to find the Annie wig is at because I did pay $30 for a synthetic wig on Amazon. But I'm not tripping on it because it did what it had to do, okay? So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.